welcome back guys today we're gonna work on a shovel I got uh, finished wiring the headlight right there the evil I'm still waiting for parts this should come in this week I'm waiting for the new tranny plate sprockets and chain yeah before we start today's video I added new hats onto the online store this one is the uh, older design in black letters and these two over here are the new ones all right so this headlight have three wires green is ground yellow is uh, power to the blue lens here and then white is power to the main light Alright, for today's project, we're not going to be using the yellow wire. I don't need the blue lens to light up. So instead, I'm going to add a toggle switch. I do this on all of my headlights. I like the ability to, you know, turn on and off the headlight whenever I want. I got this uh, toggle switch on Amazon. It comes in a pack of eight. It's about 10 bucks. But yeah, that's what we're going to do today. You can see the yellow wire is for the bulb right here. Don't need it, I'm gonna take it out. And this one, as you can see, there's only two wires. Green is ground and white is power. Next is to find a um, spot to drill a hole for the toggle switch. All right, I'm gonna put the switch right here. Perfect. All right, got the lens in, and it's not touching the uh, the toggle switch in the back, so we're good to go. All right, for the uh, switch to work, I'm gonna wire this one to the power wire like that and this side goes to the positive on the battery we're going to test right now okay right now there's no uh there's no power let me turn on the switch switch working Okay, let me turn off the switch. No power. One more time. On. That's it. So now I just gotta shorten this wire right here and solder it. All right, so for the ground wire, I'm just gonna ground it to the housing itself. That way only one wire will come out of this hole over here and that's the power wire to the headlight. I'm trying to simplify the wiring. I'm just gonna tape the ground wire to the housing right now just to test it and see if it'll work. Okay, the switch is on right now. I'm gonna use the housing as ground. As you can see, it works. Next, I'm gonna solder this onto the ground wire. All right, got the ground wire done. Next up, we're gonna wire 
the power cable. All right, so for the remaining wire, I'm gonna extend it using a long black wire. That way it'll blend into the frame. All right, the ground wire is bolted down to the housing. I'm gonna test the work. Perfect. That's with the switch on. Let's turn the switch off. Nothing. On. Perfect. All right, time to uh, close this up and then wire it to the uh, ignition switch. All right, so before there were uh, three wires and now there's only one wire. Simplify everything, you know, keep it clean. Let's go ahead and put this back on the bike and wire it up. All right, moment of truth. Off, on, off, on. All right, next we're gonna work on the Evo tail light. So this light is uh, currently set up like this. I wanna get rid of this bulb and replace them with these LEDs. So next I gotta design a bracket that will hold the LEDs where the eyes are. All right, here's my uh, prototype bracket for now. Looks like shit, but I wanna see uh, how it's gonna look when uh, these two lights up behind the lens. All right, so this is uh, before with the single bulb. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the LEDs. Running and then break, break, 